the welding mask, the adjuster broke. And we still got a lot of work to do and a whole lot of welding. So we uh, improvised. We bungee corded the welding mask on Orion's head. You gotta do what you gotta do to get by. Now he's gonna get back to it. Holy cow, welcome back guys. It's been a long time since we had a Thirsty Thursday video in the shop. Uh, There's a couple of product reviews I put out there the last couple of videos, but it doesn't really count. But anyways, it's been a long time and we're gonna get back to work on this hobby stock. As you guys see, it is kind of in the same shape, but we have done a lot of work to it and a lot of stuff has changed since our last video. We have got the seat almost uh, pretty much done. Got to just kind of weld everything together. Things are tack welded for now. Uh, we did uh, weld a bunch of seams up and kind of figure out some stuff on the front end. Get a little more support for our upper control arm mounts. And uh, brakes are all bled. We got new U-bolts on the back leaf spring. And that old uh, dust boot that I'm replacing, the new part finally showed up off of eBay. But that's just race car stuff related. Um, things have changed for us. I proposed to her. She said yes. <laughs> that's not the real ring, but it's not the real one. That's that's what's going on. So that's a little bit of a news. Um, and also, I am sober now. Oh my god. I'm drinking not whiskey and sweet tea, just sweet tea. I'm giving up alcohol for Lent, and it's killing me. It's only been a week, but <laughs> I'm gonna try to go the full 40 days. I've never done something like this before. I've never been this sober since I was probably I don't know 16. So we got five more Thirsty Thursdays to go, and it's gonna be hell because I'm already wanting a beer. I'm, I'm counting them down. But hey, you know what? I'll still have a good time working on these race car stuff. So we're gonna get back to work. You gonna keep on looking at wedding dresses? No, I'm just looking at engagement dresses. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. Engagement dresses. What the hell's an engagement dress? I don't know. I just wanna look for dresses. So. Apparently, there's a lot more to this wedding than just having a wedding. Yeah. There's, a, there's a whole lot of planning I'm finding out about, and it's kind of cutting it into the race car planning. So, over the next year, I think we're going to have our wedding next spring, so 2023. There's going to be a lot of uh, stuff that needs to be done before then. So, you might not see me on this camera as much as usual, but no. I'll still be doing things here and there when I can. Sorry. Any sludge in there? It has been sitting for a real long time. Yeah, it has. Alright, so we're tearing apart this block that we're going to use for the hobby stock. That's a standard bore that can go 30 over to fit all these pistons in here. So hopefully um, nothing's tore up too bad in here, but we just want the block really. So everything else is just going to be salvageable for me and me only. Um, I got to cut these uh, little tack welds in I have for the seat. <clears throat> this is the seat mount I'm going to be using. Um, I already got the holes drilled for the bolts and all I got to do basically is take this out Weld the nuts from the back side in there and put a sleeve so it doesn't crush the tube And that will be the bottom support for the seat and then obviously you have to redo this Janky thing right there for the back support Hey, I want you to tell me what that looks like to you <laughs> Pretty accurate. <laughs> Do it again. Nice. <laughs> All right, so I'm making this a uh, couple of little peak holes here. So when I put the nut on the inside, I have something to weld it to. And then I have this little sleeve I'm gonna put on top of it and then weld that to the top. So it's all solid, one piece. So when I'm pinching it down with the seat, it's not just crushing the, the tubing here. It's actually getting the full force of it. Mr. Bean. Do it. Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay guys, so the bottom of the seat bracket is totally done. Uh, I can 
get this thing out here. I can show you a little bit. I like that, huh? Anyways, it doesn't look real good on the back side, but um, on the inside, it's got the sleeve in here. So it's not going to be just bending up the, uh, the bar here. People just want to put like a nut on the back side and then squish this thing in. That ain't gonna do crap because you're just gonna lose tension on the bolt after a while. So that guy is done. Now I gotta figure out how to bring this thing out and how much to bring it out to meet the back of the seat. Um, I got a measurement from the bottom of the floor to the top of the uh, seat here. So I'm gonna try to match that as best as I possibly can. Eric got the motor all torn down. This thing is just about ready to go out to the machine shop. Uh, but we got to get these plugs out and if you guys know anything about these plugs on the back here for the oil galleys on a stock block that's never been taken out before these things are in there tight and so i have an impact hammer at work i'm about to bring and you smack it and it turns it out at the same time if you try anything else you're risking either stripping that little quarter inch hex out or like we did before cracking that block right there <laughs> I'm so used to doing a 50-50 mix that I still pour the 50%. I don't do another 50%. Say, <laughs> this is some good stuff though. This is homemade right here. Look at my nails too. Good old sweet tea. <laughs> I tell you what, you guys know I'm a sweet tea connoisseur. And this stuff right here is about as good as it gets. <laughs> you got you guys want to know why I proposed her is because of the sweet tea she makes. That's why. <laughs> it's so sugary, it's like maple syrup, and that's what I love. Ew, that does not sound good. Well, I like it. The more sugar in my sweet tea, the better. <laughs> you a poor chunky? No. You're a garage chunky right chonky. now. <laughs> Alright, so we got the uh the seat exactly where we want it. Our custom bungee cord holding it. We're at the correct angle. And uh, I wanna go ahead and tackle that lower bar in and get it kind of set up so we can make our measurements on the back and uh, start making that piece up. Hey, Billy, pick your knock it out. Look at this big ass one inch socket. I'd say that's gonna clear our big, long four inch wheel studs. Wouldn't you? Just a tag. Anyways, I had to get more welding rods because I ran out and uh, the seat is not all the way welded in yet. So I had to go to three stores to find some uh, welding rods. The 6011 is what I use them and they're 330 seconds as a size. And both the Harbor Freights in the area did not carry them or they're out of stock right now. So I had to go to Home Depot and get the Lincoln brand ones. So what the hell happened to my hair? Totally chopped it off, right? Well, gas prices are skyrocketing right now. So I'm trying to cut down the weight reduction on the Tahoe here so I don't blow through more gallons than I need to. It's uh, six, just about six dollars a gallon. I saw today at Arca, which is the cheapest around, 565 for 87 octane and diesel was 659. And that's cheap. The Chevron down the street from there is 729 for diesel and uh, I think like 680 something for 87. So weight reduction. All right, I brought my impact hammer set from work so we can get the plugs out of the block. Snap on, to rip off, but it works. Anyways. Snap on, rip off? It's in a snap on case. Snap on's a rip off. Oh. You gotta pay about 75% more what, what it costs, you know, at Harbor Freight, but it's a better tool, whatever. Need it for uh. That's all we needed this thing? No, I need this too. It's a custom socket. I can tell. Anyways. I had to uh, grab a new welding helmet at Harbor Freight. I know you guys like the uh, whole bungee cord edition, but it didn't work too well. So got a nice brand new $55, this one right here. Flames, it goes really fast while you're welding. Yeah, you just need that and a big ass hammer. Those guys will come right out. Just tap it and turn it. Yeah, more than a tap. Okay, so I gotta finish up welding these two pieces on the top and bottom, and then we're gonna have to try to fix this absolute mess right here for a steering column and probably shorten the shaft a little bit. So, still a lot of things to do. Red Loctite, that's why they're so hard to get out. 
locks. Everybody, everybody loves putting red Loctite on these freaking back galley plugs for some reason. You don't need red Loctite. Blue is fine. Or you can actually put a little bit of a pipe thread on it. Yeah, what do you call it? The pipe tape or whatever. Pipe dope, as Ben likes to say. Yeah. Money. All right, it's time to eat. Taco South of the border night. What's this called? What's this food called? What's your specialty? My specialty? Burrito tacos? Yeah, sure. It is burrito tortillas. I cut them in half because they're too big. Can you tell Amanda not put this together? <laughs> Definitely not bowl. us. If I had a zoom on this camera, I'd zoom in right there. All right, so we're prepping this block to send us to the machine shop. And we're taking these uh, drain back holes that go right on the camshaft and just create all kinds of windage. Taking those holes and drilling them out to a half inch and then tapping them for our plugs. That's so actually going to be a little vent plug that kind of sticks up a little bit. And then the same deal here, uh, we're tapping these guys because we just punched the uh, original freeze plug deals out so we can clean all this out before we assemble it and put the plugs in but that's what he's doing it's gonna take a little while to do this but this is gonna be a, a pretty good block I think after we're all said and done with it you gotta do the uh, grinding on the drain backs here still open that up kind of just show you guys what we're gonna be doing and how we uh, build this it's gonna be a mild race motor but it's gonna be a race motor so kind of let you guys see what we're doing here It's called the Hillbilly Piku for a reason. Is that the device you're using there, son? That ain't a scraper. It's got some vice grips and a razor blade. Where it never does a trick. Get it done. Alright, so you got all but two of these holes done. Got these two tapped up here. Tapped. All these are tapped. Drill bit broke on that one. So we got two, two more to go. It's coming along. I can still see crosshatch right there. Look at that. All right. Got everything welded up on the seat. Putting it in for fitment. We're going to make a little plate to go in between these two bits right here. Go from here over there. Like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit thicker than that. Kind of like to take up a place of a washer and then also to kind of sandwich it down, give it a little more support, make it out of steel. But for now, that's gonna good, be good for test fitting. I'm getting in it. See how it feels. See if you can wobble it loose. Wobble it loose, man, I hope not. Nah. I'm pretty, uh, pretty impressed with those welding rods. Yeah, those, uh... They're not bad. Absolutely. Pretty solid? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it ain't moving. Cool. Foot position. Solid. Yeah, you're, you're a little bent, but you're about the tallest That's, person who's going to drive this car, so... That's also Maybe leverage. Built for everybody. That's just leverage on the pedals. Yeah, we gotta re see that break. We gotta relocate this thing next. So we're gonna get rid of all this crap and probably I'm thinking about coming in here and making a U out of the the deal right here with some more maybe square tubing coming in, mounting the uh the quickener there and then coming back up. Maybe here, I don't know. Maybe I'll tie it all in together. Make like a tripod out of the deal. Yeah, that definitely ain't gonna work. <laughs> Way too close to you and way too high up. What do we? I mean, you said for the lid it was right here. I mean, my yeah. eye level is here and the steering level. Yeah. We're gonna have to shorten it up and I think Drop bring bring the actual Pivot angle down. of it down a little bit. It looks like it's a little bit too angled up, in my opinion, right? Before we cut it, we should get the angle right because that's gonna lengthen the yeah the shaft. Right. So that's what we're gonna work on next here. Watch out for that wobbly sock coming off and smacking you in the face like you were telling me about earlier. 
I was thinking about that when I saw it. That was surprisingly not very funny. Yeah. Anyways, try to pull that thing out. If possible. There you go. How long has that been on the board? The mount driver's seat. Uh, about. Probably about, I don't know, a year ish. Anyways, it erased off the board. And board. it's. What'd you replace it with? Steering wheel. Oh, great. <laughs> Redo steering wheel setup. Anyways, we crossed it off the board so it's officially done and that's gonna do it for this video. So, appreciate you guys watching. I'll uh, keep you guys updated what's going on with this motor and uh, show you what's gonna happen after we get it back in the machine shop and start assembling it. But it's got a ways to go because I still gotta do the super truck motor. Um, so, anyways, the steering wheel deal is uh, next on this whole extravaganza and uh, we'll see you probably next week so remember if it's bent and ain't broken hey buddy pit crew we'll be out of here <laughs>